Welcome back! Okay, are you a pirate now? And, uh, I forget. It's from... Oh, no, no, it's Patchy the Pirate. He's like, I lost my tail again. It figures... Okay, we haven't read any of these, so I'm just continuing. Okay, okay. all right, all right. He's, um... Because he's like... It's um where he's like, Welcome back! And they go, ah! And Spongebob and Patrick jump over his ship, and then they... And they're like, that was a close one! And he, like, appears back on the ship with Dutchman's ghost magic, and he's like, Welcome back! And he's like... Ah, and they jump over again. He's like, that was a closer one. <laughs> and he summons them back. He's like, welcome back. And they jump over again. And Squidward's like, hey, how come when they try and escape, all they get is the welcome wagon? And then he destroys them with his fucking fire. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> I love it. The bees, Sora. Oh, Derek, you did always say that this game was really about bees. Here's your chance. Where's my boy Pooh? Oh, you boy launch Poo. him into the air with your wind. Oh no, these bees, they've become too strawful. Sora's the beekeeper! <laughs> I'm the beekeeper, Sora! I was never expecting there to actually be bees in this game. What is. What is happening? Like, what are we trying to do? <laughs> I don't know right this moment. Like, I'm legit as like, what is going on and why are we doing it? I don't know, but I, I actually think I enjoy it. Oh, okay, you're killing the bees. Okay, okay, okay. Before the honey meter goes down, I think. I think. So you got like 20 more left to kill. The honey okay, is but his you can, health. You can bring the honey back up with cards. Okay, okay, I get it now, I get it. I'm glad you do. It's a game where we kill bees, I get it. I know people are gonna be like, don't kill the bees, they're good for the- nope. Kill the bees. <laughs> You've heard about that, right? The whole, like- Kill the bees? No, the people that are like, save we need bees. to save the bees because they're good for the eco-life or whatever, but those same people don't know that bees are an invasive species to our- our country and they shouldn't be here to begin with and they kill all the other pollinating insects so they don't have competition I didn't know and that. they're actually really harmful for our ecosystem i didn't know that yeah it's hilarious do they right? originate from europe or something yep they were brought over from europe because people wanted to make a lot of money off of honey back in like the 18 or 1900s i didn't know that yep oh, they're not bother. supposed to be here at all <laughs> it's what is what cross what pollinates over here? Some weird cicada looking insect. Uh, it's not a cicada, but it, it kind of looks I, like I, one. I think I know what you're talking about actually now. Yeah, they're like, and this other one that actually I I'm not sure if it can fly because it looks kind of grasshoppery to me. So I'm not sure if it can fly or not, but that's the other one. I know. And they're less harmful for us, so they can't attack us, and they're totally non dangerous to humans. But no, man, we gotta make that honey money. Bees should be protected over here because we're stupid. <laughs> I know that, uh, what's it called? The... <coughs> the mm. murder hornets are actually not as dangerous as people think they are. No. They're actually really dangerous to bees, actually. Yes. Which I think is hilarious because it's like, what do you know, an invasive species coming over to kill another invasive species? Who would have guessed? <laughs> I didn't know that bees were an invasive species. Yeah, most people don't because they've been here for so long. Mm -hmm. Let's put it this way. The only people that would have known they're an invasive species are dead now. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> the problem with invasive species, though, is if you're not on top of that shit, like, immediately, there's nothing you can really do about it. Oh, yeah. Like, once, once they're there, squirrels. they're just, that's it. It seems that way. We never saw Piglet. No, we didn't. Wow, the music just cutting Abruptly out for stopped. this is so weird. I love how Pooh's just always like, I'm just fucking tired, man. <laughs> all he cares about is honey and sleeping. Food and sleep is all you really need, alright? Yeah, <laughs> man. Pooh lives a simple life. Simple life of a no man. A nomad. Oh, we got Bambi. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that 
That was very genuine. <laughs> that was a very genuine why. Because <laughs> I was like, that doesn't make any sense. It's Riku. But it's not Riku. Is it real it's Riku evil or is it Riku. fake Riku? Is, is Riku still stuck behind the door? Not happy to see me? Kind of. Okay, cool. If I'm getting in the way, you know, of something that's more important. It's evil Riku. It's not real Riku. <laughs> it's like, he's like, well, now that you mention it, you are. Get the fuck out of my way, Riku. <laughs> this is evil Riku. The one who has the weird... From his memories. Yeah. See, shouldn't he also have a nice Riku from his memories, and shouldn't they fight each other and leave me alone? So the final boss of when we're playing as Riku is evil Riku. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I kind of like... He's not in this scenario. No. <laughs> and if my memory serves right... We have like a certain amount of space we can put in our in our card deck. Mm -hmm. Riku has his own set, but he gets darkness points. Ooh, <laughs> so edgy! How right? edgy! Also, he has an X on him. He's being tracked. No one forget this. No one it's important to the plot. It'll come up in two, three, maybe. I forget. We got five games till. Yeah, it'll come up in five <laughs> games. It'll be important. <laughs> right. I love how they keep being like, why did Nominate disappear from the islands and all yep, I can... five games. Oh, cool. Nice counting. Uh, see, all I can think of is when he's just like, why would Rico leave the island? And all I can think about is being sore and just being like, dude, I don't know. I don't even know who the fuck Nominate is. Like, get off my back, dude. <laughs> Like, evil Riku. Like, he cares a lot for someone who has nothing to do with this. His sword has an eyeball on it. Was it passed down from the Master of Masters? From the evil of evil? No, Derek. The Master of Ma he also had a keyblade that had an eye on it. That was his eye or something? Is this also his eye? Yes. Yes? Is this true lore? So, everybody can see where he's seeing. So, not seeing, but see, see. Riku, stop it! That always works whenever you say stop it to your, bat, your friend. Yeah, like this. Hey, Derek. Yeah? Stop it. I would not. <laughs> it's actually funny. I was... So... Uh, I was working on the, the Sonic compilation video last night, right? That we had. And fucking... I came to the realization while watching it that me and Derek have this, this thing that we do semi-consistently. Which is, one of us will say or do something, and then the other one will go, Dude, what are you doing? Don't do that. And then the other one goes... I don't care, I'm doing it anyways. And then we just immediately go, alright, if that's what you want to do, because we both are just not willing to confront <laughs> any further than that point. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're both just like, alright, whatever, man, do what you want. <laughs> and we both do it, like, consistently. <laughs> it's really funny. Goofy! Oh, he oh, missed. He missed his show, you can... Well, is it just me, or has this game been having, like, way more cutscenes, like, back to back to back? Like, are you gotta be kidding me. You gotta I'm so kidding. edgy. My edge levels are enormous. Are edge. The original, the character, do not steal. Oh, wait, I'm not a hedgehog. <laughs> oh my god, though, he is original, the character. He is original, the character, do not steal. <laughs> I, I just imagine all Japanese writers from the year 2000s, from like the 2000s decade, were just like, how do we make a character that's like a bad guy but also a good guy, and then like will be a, a, the main like antagonist to the protagonist but also his good friend, and they were just like, I don't know, let's just check out Shadow the Hedgehog and see what they did. Because <laughs> you got Shadow the Hedgehog, Riku, Sasuke... Sasuke! Sasuke! He's really cool! He's really cool. Sasuke is really cool. Um, I'm sure there's way more than that, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. Uh, you know what I mean, though. Like, they're all the same character, just in different... Different order. ...forms. <laughs> we got air. <laughs> what, are you gonna be the airbender by the end of this? Shh. Whoosh! I blow air, my ability is terrifying. <laughs> and then the fucking dude from Core is like, I use my airbending to suck air out of you and suffocate you to death. And it's like, okay, now that, now we're talking. I love how both me and you and <laughs> Avatar was a thing. We're like, dude, like, why don't they just fucking do that? <laughs> and then they do it, and we're both like, Yo! 
It's what we've been waiting for! <laughs> oh gosh, what happened to Riku? Oh boy, we gotta go after Riku! <laughs> he let his heart fall to the darks and... Darkness, darkness, darkness. <laughs> You're right, Chris. <laughs> Riku, you don't have to be a bad guy. You can be a good guy. Riku, please. <laughs> oh, my God. It hurt. Riku, don't leave me. <laughs> I still want to fuck nominate, though. <laughs> and Kairi. And but Kairi. I'm not sure which is which anymore. But Riku, you're like a close third. <laughs> what happened? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Can't wait till we get to uh, Riku's campaign. <laughs> One of the few times we actually play as Riku. I imagine Riku is more the character who's just like, I just want to protect all. I'm just the just dude. Sora, meanwhile, is just wants to stick his dick and everything. It's just how Sora rolls. That is how it works, actually. He wants to get with Namine, Kairi, Roxas. Yeah, Roxas. <laughs> yeah, himself. Roxas, which is him. <laughs> Zeon, and, I think her name is. And, Axel. And, and water. And but Agua. he just doesn't see her. So he doesn't know it yet. But as soon as when, he, sees, he sees, her, sees her, you know it's going to be fair game. And he wants him. to get with Dark Aqua, too. Yeah, Dark Aqua, Dark especially. We are in I loved how that happened on the. It's like, that's a thing that happens in 3. And the internet was like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> dark Aqua is the equivalent of just being like, ah, yes, Dark Mom has it returned. Jiminy Cricket, you should sing me a song about Look it. Look at his eyes. <laughs> they Please. look so weird right now. There, it's the angle, you know. He's got that tilt going, which makes his eyes a little droop, <laughs> a little droopy looking. Yeah. Okay. Sora is just contemplating life. He's come to the conclusion that it is not worth it. <laughs> yep. No, I don't remember our promise. That was the promise we made to each other the first time we met. I don't believe we that's don't true. don't remember that. I'm pretty sure that's a fucking lie, you two. <laughs> well, they lied together, at least. Right. Lie together, stay a family. <laughs> true. I know. A family that lies together, dies together. Yeah. Right off a fucking cliff. Anyways. <laughs> well, Derek, you did it. You did such a good job. I'm willing to give this a game one thumbs up. As in, man, where'd my other thumb go? <laughs> Ooh <laughs> so that was a kind of a decent time to talk about it. So they started playing Assassination Classroom mm -hmm. on Toonami. So now I've been watching Assassination Classroom. Let's see this immediate next cutscene. It won't be to a interrupt text my story. It won't be a text cutscene, not the other one. <laughs> okay, so it's not as important. Um. And uh, you've read Assassination Class. I, I know the general point. premise. I've maybe read a couple chapters of it. One, what a weird fucking anime. Yes. I was like, I don't know how I should feel about this. Because it's like dark as shit, but it's also supposed to be super funny. Like, he I don't know. He blows up the fucking moon before yeah. the start of the fucking book. Yeah, and then he's like, I'm going to blow up the planet in one year unless you can get some middle school kids to kill me. Alright, GG. And like... I'm like, I don't know how serious I'm supposed to take this, because it's, it's like, really funny, but it's also, like, really dark, and I'm not sure what level of serious I'm supposed to be giving this show. I love this, right? <laughs> yep. Looks like we're underwater. How are we breathing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's because the water is your memory. You can breathe memories, dude. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Fools. Agua. Oh, she has a trident. Trident. Oh, hey, Sora. Would you like the stick that controls the ocean? Here you go. It's all yours. Just give me a spoon from the surface world. <laughs> oh, boy. There was a moment of, yeah, that does seem like something she'd do. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm so glad they just reused the ass up. Oh, yeah, right. And, but, you know, that's not how we're going to be, where we're going to be playing. Yeah, we're gonna be playing under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. 
I kind of would have liked to see these block worlds, but in mermaid form, because I feel like it would have been incredibly impractical and dumb. Wait, we were we were played um. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. We were we had the Halloween costumes in the last world, right? Yes, we did. Okay. I was like, I thought we did. We're, we're not doing it in this world because you would be a mermaid with swimming mechanics and they didn't want to port those over to this game. They didn't want to figure that out at Yeah, all. like this is world-based blocks. Like, they don't want you to have the ability to swim around those. That would be incredibly convoluted. Fuck it, you fight on the ocean floor now. Under the sea! Under the sea! Under the sea! Everything's wetter, everything's better, listen to me! Everything's wetter. <laughs> Gross. No, it's under the it's under the sheets. It's a classic, old school fucking joke from friends of mine. It's under the sheets, under the sheets. Everything's wetter, everything's better. Try not to pee. Uh, <laughs> anyways, enough fucking reminiscing on stupid children being stupid children. Uh, <laughs> Things are stupid. Um. So, oh, oh yeah, so I'm watching Assassination Classroom, and you know the main protagonist dude, the blue-haired one? Yeah. So I saw that character, and my first thought is female, right? And then, like, as the show continued, I was like, oh, it's a dude. I'd still fuck it. <laughs> I'd still fuck that. That's still hot. <laughs> still. Yes. Still really hot. <laughs> Also, I like that that show falls under that category of, like, the main characters have interesting colored hair and the side characters don't. Okay, you continue watching. Because <laughs> there's, like, blue-haired guy, red-haired guy, green-haired girl, and then I think some other colored bitch or guy in the fucking room who they haven't established yet, and then everyone else is just random side character. <laughs> Who occasionally is like, I want to do a thing. <laughs> I like that they uh, have fl they flush out My Hero Academia. They're like, at least everybody's like, oh, they're somewhat developed. Unless you're invisible. Unless you're the invisible girl. <laughs> then she's the best girl. You can't prove that I didn't destroy all those robots. By God, you're right. <laughs> Enter this class for the top tier students. I also love that rock guy beat out the dude who can turn himself into fucking metal. Which is a vastly superior version of that power. Yep. <laughs> Sense make much. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, and ball, sticky ball kid. Yes. He just doesn't belong there at all. I just, I don't care how. Oh, you oh, I know what you're talking about. about that. Just, that character doesn't make any sense that he's there, other than to be the weird pedo, comic uh, gag, the weird uh, sexually driven character, and nothing oh, God, else. I hate, I hate that character. And but then again, most internet does. I, I don't hate him. I just don't care. Like he's just kind of there, and I'm just like, oh yeah, he's like still a character, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I love his character improvement. He can throw more sticky balls? No, he he stops being a pussy for like three minutes and stops be wetting his, wanting his dick get wet. Bullshit. Yeah, for a whole <laughs> two seconds. Yeah, like bullshit, you know he goes right back to that shit. Some people really like him, I guess, as a character. I'm very neutral on his character, I just like could not care one way or the other. He's, he's so, so whatever. bland. Yeah, he's exactly. His, his gimmick is that he wants to fuck the bitches, but you know what? We already had that with Master Roshi, and Master Roshi is a fucking G. <laughs> hashtag like baller. Hashtag fucking G baller. <laughs> that's that's kind of like my, that's my staple for that, you know what I mean? It's like, are they as good or better than Master Roshi? And if that answer is no, then I don't care. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Like, he, he's like the blind, you know? You gotta be better than this character or else don't do that character. Because <laughs> it's not worth it. It's uh, thrilling combat. Combo breaker. Um, but yeah, fucking... There is just not a lot happening with... My Hero Academia, because they won't finish the duff. 
Uh, season 5 just got announced. They're just sitting on it. Actually, no, did they finish? I think they might have actually finished season 4, and now they're waiting for season 5 to Season finish. 5 just got announced. Uh, There's just not a lot going on with that right now, which is unfortunate, because, man, that's some good show. At least the Rule 34 sites don't know when to quit, so there's always that to go to. <laughs> <laughs> they, they never stop. Don't look it up, but if you do look it up, they never stop. <laughs> no, they don't. There's like, I swear to God, that's like one of those few, that and like, uh, D.Va. Diva from fucking uh, that stupid shooter game no one fucking cares Overwatch. about. Over, over, Overlook, Derek. Ah. Because they take down any Overwatch porn. Overlook. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, you didn't know about I that? I didn't know about that. Yeah, all uh, Pokemon's the same way. All Pokemon porn that's like called Pokemon gets taken down, so all the Rule 34 sites call Pokemon Poke Porkyman and all Overlook, Overwatch is Overlook. On I, all the Rule 34 sites, because if they don't, they'll get taken down with, like, but season to desist copyright claims. pretty funny. It's super funny. It's, like, the funniest thing ever to me. <laughs> I was saying that to a friend of mine, he's like, that's not fucking true. I'm like, go look it up. And he's like, I will. And he looks it up, and he's like, oh my god, Chris, you weren't fucking joking. And I'm like, dude, I told you. <laughs> that's <laughs> actually too good. I'm like, they're very serious about it. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that, that one, man. What's the, the, um... Uraka? Sue? And the one that makes things out of her tits. What's her name? I always forget. Uh, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember. Yeah. Her name. Oh my god. Why can't I think of her fucking name? Yeah, no. yeah. Araka? Yeah, let's, let's, you know... I know what you're talking about. Yeah, th those three, and then fucking the the pink one, whose name alludes me to. You know what I'm talking about? It's like Maria or something. Or Maria. Mar or something. Some with an M. Some with an M, I think. I'm kind of out of it because I haven't watched the show in a while and have not given enough of a shit to look at anything from My Hero Academia in like a while. <laughs> so <a> while. <laughs> but those four are like every day. Every day you'll get like fucking ten goddamn images, like it's like like fucking clockwork. It's like oh it's noon, ten more images. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. Derek knows what I mean. <laughs> and then occasionally you get like the lesser ones, like the the girl with the fucking earphone jack, fucking ears. Yes. Which I gotta say, she's probably my favorite, just cause her power is dumb. <laughs> but her character is awesome. <laughs> There's a the the two I think my my two favorite girls from the plot is is the pink girl and the fucking earjack girl. And it's mainly just because their personalities are fucking hilarious for what the show needs to be. I especially like the pink one who's just like a hardcore fucking like everything is amazing at all times. And I am the fucking fullest of energy human on the planet. <laughs> the internet all, loves her too. All else is... Dude, she is like... I'm not gonna say I was looking it up, because I wasn't. <laughs> but you but stumbled upon I it. I definitely stumbled upon it. And once you stumble upon something, or at least for me, because I have problems, <laughs> as soon as I stumble upon something, I'm like, Well... I'm not super interested, but I'm kind of curious what the internet's come up with today. So I'll just take a small peek at the selection and see what people are coming up with. Every fucking dude, every fucking image, book, comic panel, whatever you can think of, she is just like peak thirsty. <laughs> like she is just thirsty as all hell, going after. Her. Anything that breathes, and I'm just like, I get it, but also, no, I, I just, no, I just get it. <laughs> peak thirsty? She's peak thirsty. Dude, she's like a fucking, she's like running a marathon in the Safar Desert. Like, that is how thirsty she is in, like, every comic and image I've ever seen. 
Also, oh my god, I love that. Also, I love Deku and all of them because Deku and all of them is just like, I really shouldn't. I'm a proper hero and it's too late. I'm already going full forward. Let me send. I gotta find. I have one that I gotta <laughs> send you at some everyone point. Everyone is so funny. I gotta. Fu- I got. I got one. I gotta send you at some point. Because it's just like a what the fuck. Because it always starts with a, I don't think we should be doing this here. No, like, I really think it's a bad idea. No, like, seriously, it's just, I'm going for it. <laughs> Every fucking story is the same plot progression. Oh, I got one I gotta send you because it makes me laugh. <laughs> awesome. I, I, can't, I can't wait. I'm sure it's great. And you made a sequel to it. That's the best part. <laughs> I was watching someone uh, recently, he was doing a reaction video, and he saw, uh, someone made a joke about, like, tentacle hentai shit, Mm -hmm. and he was like, yo, he's like, I'm not saying I looked that shit up, but I've seen it, and he's like, it's not for me, and to each person their own, but that shit be fucking weird, and all I could think of while watching him was, uh, yes, this person is someone who I know is a true and honest person. Anyone who will just openly chalk porn on the internet is a truly honest person. <laughs> Someone to be trusted. <laughs> Cause every cause you normally get the people that are just like, I don't look that stuff up personally. But I came across it this one time and I wasn't into it or anything. But like this like thing that I saw was crazy and like you don't want to see it but like and trust me I didn't want to see it and it's like shut the fuck up <laughs> it's, it's like well I mean you were there so you were looking up some other kinky shit clearly cause how else did you get there <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh fuck oh, over, over. oh a little over alright we'll call it there peace till then we'll see you next time peace